Hey there, just enjoying a cold drink from the general store. 60 years ago, the world was a different place. You'd come to a place like this and find just about anything you need. No one had a television in their house, let alone two or three. And just making a long distance phone call was a really big deal. The times were a little slower and the cars were really cool. Today we take air conditioners in cars for granted, but back when I was still in short pants in 1951, they had things like this crazy contraption. You'd put water in it, and when you drove fast, a little bit of cool, damp air blew inside. Pretty simple. Redstone Federal Credit Union got started that year with a simple beginning too. 11 members each putting $5 in a shoebox. A shoebox doesn't get much more down to earth than that, but oh, how it's grown. I want you to meet a few people, from the folks who remember Redstone from the very start, to those whose lives are being touched by Redstone today. Like Bob Francis, who recalls the very beginning. I remember very well in the mid 50s, there was a little frame building and it had Redstone Federal Credit Union. Well, coming from the farm and being new to the outside world. I'd never heard of a credit union before. Believe it or not, today we find Bob, a Redstone member, on a playground. And not just any playground, but one in Hartzell for special kids like Clara and Jordan. Redstone Federal Credit Union and many others help donate money and people to build and grow this fun place. It's a special needs accessible playground, or SNAP. At Marshall Space Flight Center, Bob managed big contractors and a large staff. SNAP changed it. It's all volunteers. And it wasn't long until uh, I wasn't managing uh, only with the tools of my trade. I was managing with my heart. So that's the sort of thing that, that grabbed you. Every time you see a child play here, uh, you are honored and humble to have been a part of a project like this. And Redstone's reputation in this city? I, I guess, without saying a lot of words, it's a class act. Well, we think Bob is the real class act, along with countless people like him who volunteer their time and talent to help make all of our communities a better place to live. I'd like you to meet Brenda Martin. Now, Brenda's sharp as a tack. She's one of the people who helped keep the mayor's office running smoothly in Huntsville. But at home, it was her husband who dealt with all the finances. Frank always handled the personal business. Now, it's not that I couldn't, uh, because of course I had, had a business in. And he would say to me, Brenda, let me show you this, let me show you that. And I said, no, Frank, you do it much better than I do. You handle it. But after more than 40 years together, their lives suddenly changed when sadly, Frank passed away about five years ago. At the time, um, Jerry Tolan and I sat on a number of boards together and he was just a wonderful person, um, a good friend. Well, I said to him, um, you know, I'm really not real comfortable with this banking stuff. And he said, not a problem. He said, I'll help you. And now, current Redstone president, Joe Newberry, continues what Mr. Tolan started. And it was kind of embarrassing to a point where I said, oh no, Joe, you, you don't have time for that. He said to me, I would never have suggested it to you if I didn't mean it. And he meant it. There was some fear on my part um, because I had never done that before. I had never taken time to go through my personal um, personal finances. Again, the president of, the Red, of Redstone Federal Credit Union reached out to help me. That was phenomenal. When they say they want to help you, they're there to help you. And for that, I'm grateful. I am so grateful because um, it's a tough time. It's, 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 it's a tough time. Um, Redstone helps people through tough times, but is there for exciting times too. Moving forward together, helping folks jump into the future. Folks like Connie Fuller. 
I wanted to open a small business downtown Fort Payne because I wanted to help vitalize downtown. And that she did. Her little shop's full of books, school supplies, and a year-round Christmas wonderland. Being really new in business, I needed to expand my inventory. I didn't have a lot of inventory. It was kind of sad, actually. At a Chamber of Commerce workshop, Connie learned how Redstone could help. Well, Amanda was my first contact, and she has a lot of personality. She's very bubbly. I felt like I was probably their only customer <laughs> because I got so much attention and so much care that I really felt like they valued me and valued my business. They were just wonderful. They were so helpful to me. I applied for small business loans, and it was a painless process. After I was able to get the loan, um, I was able to expand my business, put up displays I hadn't had before, and get inventory in that I needed. Um, and so it's increased um, my volume of business. And Connie's watched Main Street in Fort Payne come back to life. Other businesses have opened since me, so it's become, I think, the happening place. <laughs> Bob, Brenda, and Connie moving forward together with Redstone, 60 years after it all started with the shoebox. <laughs> Remember that sound? Boy, times have changed. Redstone, too. Today, Redstone serves more than 330,000 members all across the valley with 20 branches and even more ATMs. We've all come a long way, but even through all the changes, helping people like Redstone does <laughs> never goes out of style. No matter what branch you go into, they all seem to have that can I help you attitude, genuine attitude. The thing you notice about Redstone, they're always a sponsor. And, and that means a lot to our community. So they are a huge community player and we love them. I mean, I'm living my dream because of Redstone. <laughs>